Um, I'll put actually she posted the picture of it on Instagram. Snapchat. Hey you guys, so this is the part two of my haul, and it's just because I don't want it to get too long because I talk a lot and I'm bad at filming these hauls. So now I'm gonna go into the stuff that I bought at Primark and the stuff that I bought at Super Trust. So let's just look in the Okay, you guys, so I looked all over for a super drug, and I realized that it was so close to where I was that when I was looking for it, I just didn't see it. So then I, like, I kept looking for one, and then I, I found it, but, um, I felt really stupid because I kept looking for a super drug, and it was, like, right across the street from me. So, <laughs> Sydney needs to, you know, remember that her brain sometimes, she needs to, like, just look what's in front of her. So, basically... I'm just going to show you guys what I got from Superdrug. Keep in mind, this is what you guys requested me to purchase, so please don't get mad at the fact that I did purchase um, a good amount of it. So just don't think that I'm, like, spoiled because I paid for everything with my own money. So the first thing that I got was the Original Sleek Palette, and this is called the Original Palette, and it's by Sleek, and it's their Eye Divine. And they look like this. So this is the Sleek Eye Divine Snapshots Palette. The Ultra Matte V1 Brights Palette. Then I picked up the Ultra Matte V2 Darks Palette. The Storm Palette. The Oh So Special Palette. And, they, and this one is definitely a nice one for rosy colors. And then the All Na Naturel palette, which is like a really nice kind of naked kind of colors. And then I picked up one of their limited edition palettes because their limited edition ones are limited edition. So I figured I would pick it up because this one's the Eye Candy palette. And they have three products for it, but I only picked up this palette. And in case you guys don't know what this one looks like, I will be... Most likely having it in a video probably, but in case I, um, in case you guys are wondering what this one is, in case you guys live in the UK and you guys want to pick it up at your nearest super drug, it has, these are, there's a matte black, there is a, like, satiny silver, a shimmery pinkish purple, a satiny blue, a matte violet purple color, a kind of burnt orangish pink color that's shimmery, a shimmery green turquoise teal color, and then a matte blue, a matte like a matte, I don't even know what kind that is, a lime green, a purple, and a white, and those are all matte colors. And the other ones are just shimmer, the ones that I said were shimmer. Big mirror, which I really love. The mirror is so big and pretty, and it even comes with a slip of paper that tells you the colors, which I'm going to be keeping because I don't really need the mirror that's in this. Like, it's great for when I'm on the go, but um, I'm definitely excited to keep the paper so I know exactly what colors they are. And it's nice because the applicators are really good and they're long, and I can just switch out the actual spot for it. I can switch it out for an applicator that I would and use. And the next things that I purchased, I for purchased four MUA palettes. The first one I purchased was a highly recommended one and I asked, okay so this one person said that I should pick up one that's a dupe to the Naked two, naked or Naked 2 palette, one of the two. And this is the Undress Me 2. So it's probably the Naked 2 palette because it says T-O-O -O, as in like Undress Me 2 and Undress Me Naked and then 2, 2. So it's probably a, for the Naked 2 palette. And then there's one called Naked, all the, all the colors are like Naked, okay, so it's, I'm going to go Naked, Devotion, Sky, Fairy, Lavish, and then um, Dreamy. And then Tranquil, Exposed, Relieve, Reveal, Wink, and then this color right here, it's hard to read on the pack. Obsessed, obsessed and corrupt. Corrupt is the matte black color, and I'm excited to try this out. Try this out, and this is just MUA Makeup Academy, and I just like that. I just like this because um, it looks very pigmented, and I've heard a lot of good things. You guys definitely asked me to pick up these, and um, 
I picked up a couple other ones. So I picked up this one also and a more neutral colored one. This is like the browns, the taupes, and those colors. And this one's called Heaven and Earth. And then I picked up a very, very poppy one. And this one's called Poptastic. It's very colorful. Definitely going to be good for all these palettes that I purchased are going to be good for Halloween tutorials because they're definitely pigmented looking and they look like they are very colorful in the palettes because a lot of them seem to have lots of color choice which will be great and then this one is in glitter ball and these are all shimmery glittery type of shadows and they just look like that. If you guys want a makeup tutorial with any of those palettes then just comment down below because I would love to know what you guys want to see, what if you guys want to see anything special with these things that I purchased. I'm not done, obviously. There are three more things that I purchased from Superdrug, so I'm just going to show you them. So I picked up three more things at Superdrug, and I just want to thank someone who told me about these products, and I probably wouldn't have picked them up if she had not shown them to me, because I was just going in there for things that people had recommended to me that were already on my list, because I kind of had a budget for, budget for Superdrug, because I spent about... 90 pounds altogether for all these products that I purchased so I kind of wanted to stay within that 90 pounds so I had the things that I got and then I didn't try to look at too many other things but I did look at the makeup and nothing else really impressed me because we have most of those products um, I haven't seen Gosh, Gosh that brand I haven't seen that where I live so I take it that's a UK brand um, there's a couple other ones that they don't have in the uh, states but I figured I would pick up these ones and see if I even like them and the next time I go to London I will budget more for makeup. But um, basically I have p purchased three mud therapy things and I would like to give a little shout out and a thank you to, um, I'll put, actually she posted a picture of it on Instagram and her Instagram is justmanda22 and I'll have it in the description box when I thank her and I'll have her information so you guys can go check her out subscribe to her and she's just really nice and I I'm friends with her on YouTube and she's just so sweet and I love her so basically this is the first one this is in blue this is a blue one and this is a sensitive deep cleansing mud mask with soothing and cooling properties of rose water and this one definitely does smell like rose water um well roses um that are a little bit diluted and then it has like a lotiony scent and the next one is one the one that she had in her photo which is this one and at first I didn't know if I would be able to find it but I found it and so I picked up the other two that they had um so I can try them out and maybe do a review like this video if you guys want to see a review and this is just mud therapy aloe vera deep cleansing mud mask with nap with the natural mineral benefits of dead sea mud to naturally detoxify the skin containing hydrating and soothing aloe vera and that's just this one and they're pretty decent sized um i def they're masks so you know obviously they um this one smells this one does this one does not smell like aloe vera. I'm not exactly sure. Hey guys, so the long awaited part of this actual haul is from Primark and I spent about 150 pounds there, which is like around um 200 250 um dollars, which that's kind of where I spent most of my money. But I'm just going to get started with everything that I bought. I don't have it organized into two days, but I went there twice because the first time I went, I only spent 55 pounds. And then the next day I spent a lot more because I kind of felt unaccomplished the first day because I felt like I didn't get that much and I felt like my mom was rushing me, which I could have gone back that same day. But I didn't, it didn't set in until I got home how much little, like how little I had gotten. So, um... First thing I bought this t-shirt and it's just like a London inspired one and it's really cute and nice and it's a very beautiful fabric. It has a little bunny on it and it's just so cute. And then I got another one. I'm just throwing everything on the, on the floor in case you hear that noise. And then I have this just gorgeous, okay, this is so cute. It is just this dress and a lot of their products you can see through with the light with like most shirts that I purchased. But um, it's just the fabric. It, you can't actually see through it. I already tested it. And it's just really cute and it's gorgeous. And I'm going to wear this a little later. And this one's striped. And I like this because 
black and white is in right now and this is striped and it has so cute and this was also five pounds and it has the lace in the back too and then I picked up another one of those t-shirts that you saw before and this one just says this one just says peace and love at the top and then at the bottom it says love will save us and it's really cute and then I have another phone case and this is just a pink one with rhinestones um, I don't know if you guys can tell there's rhinestones on it. I'm not going to focus my camera today because my battery is going to die. Then I have this studded one, and this was two pounds, and the other one was three pounds, and the other one before that was a hundred, um, like one and a half pounds. So it's this one, it's really pretty. And then I picked up a pair of shoes because it's really hard for me to find shoes that are like cute and inexpensive because I have to pay for my own stuff usually so um it just kind of works out better this is my clothes shopping because i usually i have to pay for my own stuff so it's really nice when i go here i go and pick up the stuff that i want and i save my money a lot to get this stuff so um i earn it myself too so i just got these navy blue and white polka dot shoes and they're so cute they look a little bit black but they're actually navy blue with white bottom uh white so it's like really nice because um they're just lace, you can just tie them, and they're comfortable, and you can definitely walk in these, and they're just better for summer, you know, and winter, you can wear them in winter too, which is nice, and for school, they're going to be great, because I don't want to have to worry about my toes showing in school, I just want to get through the day, and then, you know, have cute shoes when I'm not at school, so... These are just the other pair, and actually those are cute anyway, it's just, I just don't feel like wearing fancy shoes to school. So these are the other ones, and these are so cute, and they only have like three little holes like the other one, but these are just red and white polka dot, and these ones are definitely a little bit more of pop of a color, so these are going to be really cute when I wear um, just like jeans that I cuff, and then maybe a white t-shirt, because they do have white. So then the next is another t-shirt, and this one I might have to deal with a different way. Only because it does pucker, because this one's cut differently than the other ones. It's cut a little bit more, um, less in, so like, it puckers. Because when you, this is meant for like more small chested, like, this one I really, really, really love. And this one I will be wearing a bandeau with, and you'll see later I did buy a bandeau that probably won't go with this one, but just one that I can kind of wear under stuff and this one just says Los Angeles City of Angels Los Angeles and it just says that and it's really pretty and then I picked up another phone case and it's just like the pink one except it's white with rhinestones and I picked up was just this black um, t-shirt just like all the rest of them sleeveless and a little bit big um, armholes and it just says New York City chick and it has a period and it's really cute and it looks kind of like Brandy Melville style, but it's not Brandy Melville. And then I purchased a circle skirt, because those are in right now. And it's blue, and it has like a little bit, not an ombre effect, just a faded effect. And it's really pretty. And then I purchased one of my favorite things. This style is so in right now. Definitely in love with this. It's just like a coral color, and it's just going to be so gorgeous when I wear this. And I had to wait to film this video. So I'm definitely going to wear this stuff now. And this one is just a shirt that says, Lost Without Your Love. And then a blue version of the other one. And then this t-shirt. And this is a little bit more risque, but not too risque at all. But it doesn't say anything. It's just the fact that this one is completely see-through no matter what. And it has a tiger on it. And um, the fact that I'm going to be wearing this to school, I have to definitely figure out stuff to make this look appropriate and then I just have that so then I picked up a bandeau and this is just a lace back just so it's a little fancy look this purse and it's just really cute I'm gonna take off this weird thing because it's just annoying me I don't like the color I like it looking classy not kiddish and then it has a long gold strap with just this so it's really pretty and I'm definitely looking forward to using this purse because I have too many purses already but you know what I needed another. I don't know if you guys know this but Primark is definitely okay Primark is high quality like I use I have stuff from three years ago and I love it still so um 
I just, I don't know, I just love it. So I decided that I still have some bras that don't fit me anymore, but I have some bras that don't fit me anymore, but they are still really good quality. And when friends come over and they forget a bra or something like crazy like that, I have one that, I have a couple that are different sized. And um, I have them for them and they still fit and they work for them and they're pretty and they're, they make you feel good about yourself. So I like having bras. So I picked up a couple of bras and pants and all that. So I picked up a pair of shorts that are upstairs and they have stars on them and they're very short but I'm just going to be wearing those around the house and um, just it, to like to the pool and all that May, mostly because they show a little bit of my butt but um, I'm going to try to work on seeing if I can you know make them look less like that. But then I just picked up a pair of cute little underwear and this stuff is so cute. It has two bows on it and it's just really cute and it's all like lacy. And then I picked up a set of matching underwear and this is really cute because I like having matching underwear. I don't know about you guys but um this is just the underwear part and it's really cute and the back is like see-through and it has lace and a little bow and then a bra that matches it and this bra is so cute. Oh my gosh you guys. If you guys have Primark near you, I definitely recommend to check out their lingerie only because if you check it out, you'll be like in you'll be stunned like I was because I did not expect them to have it to cost so little and be so comfortable. So then I picked up <clears throat> and these last a long time too, which I really like and they give you good support. So I definitely if you want to go and check out it, I definitely recommend it. So then I also purchased just this like lacy kind of thong. I haven't tried it. I haven't been able to see if it's, you know, like comfortable or not. So I can't say anything about this one. Um, and it was just half a pound. And um, it has like a cute little bow. And on the front part, it just has rhinestones. And obviously the back is just like a little string. It just looks like that. So then I picked up another set. And they just look like, it just looks like this. It's like the other one. There's no push-up in these, by the way. And um, it's just a set, so it's like five pounds, which is a really good price for these. And the underwear in the back is not see-through on this one, but it's just still so cute. In love with them. And this one actually does have a little bit of push-up. Um, it's not too bad. The push-up is just a little bit more, only because... Um, I didn't realize that when I purchased it and then when I got home and I went to try it on I realized it does have push-up because it doesn't say it on the thing and then I looked at it and I looked but I don't I don't really need the push-up it's just kind of built into this bra so I'm kind of stuck with it but um yeah and it just has a cute little heart I still think it's really cute so I'm just gonna deal with it and the underwear is even cuter this one I definitely wanted to pick up more I just could not figure out where they had this style and this one's so cute makes me feel so pretty and it just has like little roses in the heart and this and then it has the cutest back it's just all lace and so comfortable so pretty and it makes me feel just like I don't know how to explain it it just makes me feel good and then I purchased another one and I didn't realize these had push-up I just purchased these because they were cute looking and this one has lace at the bottom if you can tell and then it's like you know see through there and then there is a matching thong to that and it just looks like this and it has that and then the back is just the same so you know I just like it because it's so comfortable once that one's really comfortable too and then this one I also purchased I have not tried the rest of these but they are just so cute looking that I just couldn't resist I kind of had to and it just looks like like this and it has um, this type of fabric and the back is the same and then let's see then I purchased just a black one. I purchased a black one and I feel like the print is a little bit cheetah-ish on the ones that are lace, but um, I could be wrong. And it's just, they're just really cute and they look really like, you, they look like you cannot see them when you're wearing a form-fitting dress, which is kind of the goal because you want to wear underwear, so better wear some underwear, you know, even if it's like you're not wearing anything. So then the next, next one I purchased was just this really cute like I'm in love with this one because it looks so good on my skin tone and it's just so pretty I don't know it's just this one makes me feel so good and 
There's no push up in this one either. It's just they're they've been sitting like perfectly and they like mold them so that they like fit your boobs and all that. But um that's why it looks like it has push up, but I swear it doesn't. Like you like you don't it doesn't yeah. <laughs> and um it just has like the see through part there and the straps do come off, which I like that about these because if I need to wear it strapless, then I can. And um, it just looks like this, and it just has like peacock feathers on it. And the matching underwear is just the cutest thing. And this one's definitely more girly than the other ones. Well, the other ones are girly, but this one's more like frilly girly. And this has mat this has peacock feathers on it also. But then it has like a cute little purple bow. And the back is see-through, but it's definitely a more like it's definitely a prettier see-through because the color is there, and it just I don't know I'm in love with it. And it is just so pretty. And I like the way that it kind of like ruffles itself. And this is one of the other beautiful skirts that I'm in love with. This is actually my favorite thing that I purchased out of the skirts because I have a hard time finding pants and skirts and all that and bottoms for anything. So I was really happy that I picked up some of these because they will go with plenty. So this one is definitely the favorite because it has pink and it's just a lot more detail. It's lace and I love lace, you know. And it's just so pretty and I love it. And then it has two slits at one on each side at the bottom just so it's easier to walk in. And I just think that's so pretty and it'll it'll be less, like you won't trip on it so that's nice. And I just tried this on and I fell in love with it instantly. Like I found this one and this was the last one there so I was, I was so happy about that. And then I just purchased some handkerchiefs for my dad and a phone case that you guys haven't seen. Um, I purchased like a couple more phone cases and um... I purchased those but I already gave those to my friends so that's that and that's all the stuff that I bought I know that was nothing but uh, I'm just kidding but um yeah so I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you guys want to see these things in like a lookbook or something then yeah but right now I'm actually gonna go outside and start tanning in my um most likely I'm just gonna wear like the triangle bikini one because I don't want to have too many tan lines and it's really hot right now and I just, yeah. So I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Green and gold or turquoise kind of lime, or not lime, like yeah like kind of a lime or like a limey yellow and it's just gold and it has triangles and it has little cutouts.